KTN News. Kwingine kwa mwanafunzi mmoja kutoka chuo kikuu cha Kenyatta ameweza kutengeneza vifaa vya kuchukua sampuli vya kupima virusi vya corona kwa kuchapisha kutumia mashine ya 3D. Ripota wetu Berlin waliaula liungana na Simon Dirangu ambaye anatumai kuwa vifaa hivyo vitasaidia kuhakikisha idadi ya juu ya vipimo vya corona inaongezeka nchini. Tathmini ya virusi vya corona nchini inaonyesha kuwa maambukizi yanazidi kuongezeka kila kuchao. Huku vifaa vya kuchukulia sampuli vikisemekana kuwa adimu. And one day I remember a CS of Health Mutai Kagwe said on the news that there is a shortage of uh, some reagents and testing kits and one of the things that he complained about is the importation of nasopharyngeal swabs. He was calling on sharp business people if they could come up with an idea that can be produced locally. Simon Dirangu, mwanafunzi wa mwaka wa 4 wa chuo kikuu cha Kenyatta, amejitui kwa jukumu la kuhakikisha Kenya ina vifaa vya kutosha vya kuchukua sampuli hizo. So for my type um, using filament. So um, you need the 3D printer, you need a software that you sketch it from scratch. You sketch it uh, in a two-dimensional way. Uh, as when, once you follow the standards that are laid by World Health Organization, then uh, you are able to convert that 2D uh, image into a 3D using a software. It's called uh, software, uh, and then you are able to convert that 3D image uh, into a, a program that can be interpreted by the 3D printers. Ubunifu huu ambao umemchukua takriban miezi miwili anasema aliwasilisha wazo lake kwa chuo kikuu cha Kenyatta ambapo uongozi wa chuo hicho ulimpa mashine itajika kutengeneza vichukua sampuli hivyo. Fauka na hayo vifaa hivi ni rahisi kutumia na wahudumu wa afya. This swab is very flexible as you can see. So it has been engineered to be flexible meaning that once it gets to your nasopharyngeal path it's not going to cause you pain as it will move uh, well to, to the place where it's supposed to get the, the swab. And then, as you can see, it has an easy breaking point because my major concern also was the use of scissors by the medics in the field. Licha ya kujifunza kuchapisha vifaa hivi mwenyewe, bado anakumbana na changamoto za uhamba wa mashine hizo. And my target is to produce up to 100,000 swabs per day so that we can be able to increase testing capacity. Utafiti huu haufanyi peke yake ila na usaidizi wa hadhri wake ambao wanamsaidia na utafiti na kumpa usaidizi tajika kutoka kwa usimamizi wa chuo hicho. The, the university was very supportive and very positive about this and within a very short time the resources are available and availed to Simon to develop the, the idea. And I can see that um, we have had challenges in getting the, the swabs. Uh, we have been getting very minimal supply from the national government. And I think uh, Simon's innovation has come in at a very practical time, at a, at a very timely time. Wizara ya Afya imekuwe kiripoti mara si moja upungufu wa vifadhi ya kupima virusi vya corona. Na sasa utafiti na ubunifu huu wa Simon utakuwa wa manufaa kwa taifa la Kenya kwenye harakati zake za kupambana na janga la corona. Beldin Waliaula, Kitchen News. Na mwasema 